So mountain biking has given me a hell of a lot over the years. You know, we're here in Whistler right now, for example, during Crankworks, we're riding these amazing bikes on these amazing trails, and I think it's important to give back. So today, we're taking a fan, a pink bike out, onto the trails, and we're gonna show them how to ride the steepest of the steepest. I'm Mike Levy, this is Humboldt, and we're here with G. Atherton. I appreciate it, man. I know you're a busy man, so thanks for taking the time out for me. I really like to help. And if you can apply this to like steeps on the race course or whatever, you know, that's fine too. And if you just thank me in the podium, that's whatever. That's cool. You're like a kind of sponsor of mine now, I guess. Yeah, like a helper. <laughs> Say a helper, maybe. Life coach. I'm your life coach. Life coach, we'll call it that. Trust me, I'm the last person you want a life coach, G. <laughs> All right, G. So here we are. We're on this steep section. And I know, I know what I would do here. Yeah, man which is I think what I would do would be probably grab too much rear brake here, close my <laughs> eyes on that second knuckle, and then maybe some uh, light screaming and then uh, hopefully make the corner at the bottom. Strong game plan. Right? I, I like your approach, but yeah. I think what there's an easier do? way. Easier way, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's a steep rock roll. Well, the, the problem here is gonna be traction. Yeah. Like, as soon as you're on this rock, any hard braking and your tires are starting to slide and it's going to kick you sideways and game over. Okay. So you need to control it. You need to, you need to keep that speed, but at the same time, like keep the braking smooth. Yeah. And then aim for the safe ground. So your safe ground here is obviously that kind of flattish ledge in the middle. Yes. And then a, a good place solid. To get it together, right? Yeah. So you I'm... can just point towards that, and then that good solid dirt at the end. You can yep. just aim for that and just smash okay. it. Okay. All right, G. You taking notes? Yes, I'm watching. Easy. Oh my god. Jesus! <laughs> yes! Just like that, right? You made it! You survived. He did get to the bottom. Did you not think I was gonna? There was a midsection. I wasn't quite sure what was going on, but you recovered. Yeah, I might have to show Mike a thing or two. I mean, he made it down. He did get to the bottom, but you know, once you drop into this rock shoot, you're gonna get to the bottom. But what we want is for him to get to the bottom with some pace. You know, we need some speed. Gee, my girlfriend wants you to ride this rock with your shirt off. Also, can you say hi, Sarah? Oh, that was a different approach than I took. What he did there is he applied a lot more skill and knowledge uh, and a lot better technique. You were doing something very different than me down there, mainly going 10 times as fast. How are you doing that? What are you doing differently? It's, I just would ride it faster. I mean, you That's can it. come in, you can come in quicker on the top. There's a bit of braking here, there's a bit of traction. Yeah. And then just hit that hole at the bottom, you can just punch that thing. And stop f***ing around. I mean, you want me to go faster down the hill? No, I'm pushing up. I'd oh like God. Get up and crack on. Making a meal of it. It's a short push. Oh God. God, he's out of breath. <laughs> Turns out I'm not a professional athlete. <laughs> we need maximum attack. Oh yeah. Quicker already. Ooh. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, boy. Easy. That was quicker. He come in with more speed. A little less breaking in the middle. And you saw him hit that hole at the bottom. That was good. <laughs> How did you not crumple into a ball right there? That's such a deep hole. Dude, <laughs> gee, these steeps, so steeps are all about going slow, dude. And I've got slow f***ing nails. Oh God, look at him go. I'm not sure if there's any line twist going on here. I don't think there is. There's a lot of bravery. It's not the fast light, is it? No. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. The queen called. She wants you to be more careful because that looked ridiculous. <laughs> So a section like this, you're not jumping this stuff for fun. You're in a race, you're looking for the smoothest line, and there's obviously momentum on the back sides of these things too. Is that what you're thinking? Or? Yeah, definitely. And a little straight, you know, when there's so much stuff to like, grab your wheels and like hang you up and slow yeah. you down. Yeah. You can just gap over like three or four obstacles. 
and there's just so much less grabbing you and slowing you. Yeah. All right, so it's my turn, G. What do you want me to do here? Good, well, over this crest, as much speed as you can carry through those rough straights, you have to pump through. Yeah. Try not to snag on those rocks. And then here, off that little ledge there, I just want to pick up big gap, and you're trying to pull to this down yeah. slope here. No. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I wouldn't even try to jump this. Let's let's leave that as a game plan. Okay. If you make it, you make it. If not, we'll see. If not, then <laughs> you can ride around it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh my ah! God. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. That was actually. That was sick. That was actually quite fast. The control wasn't what I would have liked. I mean, there wasn't much of it there. And he didn't do the gap, but probably a good thing. But that was pretty quick. The bravery was where we'd want it to be. Sometimes in a section, there's so much going on, so technical, you just have to attack it and just plow through. And that's what that was the approach you went for. 100%, so that's what I was gonna say. For me, looking at this, it just looks like a minefield. Every, there's things everywhere. I'm trying to go fast. My best bet is to like look at a tree down here and exactly, and it worked. Can you uh, can you show me how you're gonna do it? Yeah, let's okay. do it. Did you see where he landed? Look, look. So he picked up like 25 feet over there and he put it down right exactly where he needed to on the back side of that. Like three inches that way, sharp edge would have his tire. Would have wrecked his wheel maybe, who knows. Gee, thanks for being a good sport. No worries, my man. Good let's, day. Uh, let's do a run. If you can keep up with me, that's great. If not, we'll catch you later. <laughs> I'll see you down there somewhere. Oh my god! Oh my god! Woo! <laughs> that was a good pace into that gully. It's on purpose. This is some good speed. We found this sport eh? He's a tight tree twisty root specialist. Ew! Back end out. Oh Little scandy flick. Oh god, rocks. Oh. Well held. That'd be a fucking angry pirate if I have to run that again. Oh, it snuck up on me. Look at that line. I've done this before. I was set. Oh! <laughs> I was just saying how well you had that. <laughs> oh, roosted me. Yeah, boy. <sighs> that was sick. I'm so out of breath. That was good, then. That was a good lap.